Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Hey there, Tarnish Tales crew. Today we're diving into an epic expansion for one of our favorite Souls games, Shadow of the Urtree. From Software's latest masterpiece promises to deliver a rich and immersive experience, but also comes with a hefty dose of challenge. We'll dive into what that means for players. So, let's start with the good stuff. Shadow of the Ear Tree takes everything we loved about Elden Ring and amplifies it, adding new areas to explore, bosses to conquer, and mechanics to master. The expansion is filled with fantastic new weapons that allow you to play with wildly different styles and builds, from stealthy assassins to bruisers on the battlefield. But what really sets Shadow of the Arya Tree apart is its focus on exploration. With every area feeling wonderfully varied and unique, it's easy to get lost in the depths of the Ear Tree's twisted world. And that's exactly what From Software intended. Each side of grace seems further apart than ever, making you feel like a true adventurer as you trek through treacherous terrain. However, with great rewards comes great risk and shadow of the ear tree is no exception. The difficulty level is off the charts, folks. I'm talking dozens of tries for even the most seasoned Souls players, and that's not counting all the times I had to restart my entire run from a failed attempt. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, Hey, more challenge means better gameplay. But let me tell you, it can also mean frustration on a massive scale. As someone who's played literally everything From Software has to offer, I've got to say that Shadow of the Ear Tree is my first major critique of the studio's design philosophy. While it's undeniably impressive in terms of aesthetic and art design, it feels like they're pushing players towards an impossible standard of mastery, one that's just not sustainable for everyone. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but what about the fans who want more challenge? Well, let me tell you, if you love Elden Ring, Shadow of the Ear Tree is a no-brainer. It builds on the main game in almost every imaginable way, making it richer and more immersive than ever before. But know what you're getting into. Make sure you're completely re-familiarized with the game. Have a strong build ready to go, and be ready to get crushed to a pulp. In all seriousness, though, From Software needs to interrogate what they want their games to be. Do they stick to their core philosophy of being abrasive and unrelenting? Or do they integrate more options for players to make the games more approachable? That's the real question here. And only time will tell how Shadow of the Erd Tree lands with players. So there you have it, Tarnished Tales crew, a rundown of what we can expect from Shadow of the Ear Tree, and a healthy dose of skepticism about its design philosophy. But hey, if you're ready for the challenge, I say bring it on.